What's going on guys, JSO here, and I know I have not done a video in around eight days. Um, it's because I got my wisdom teeth taken out, as you know by the wisdom teeth video. I got pretty messed up, uh, I got really, really swollen, so I was un unable to make more videos. Um, I know I've been a little bit absent, but I got some more YouTube uh, video ideas, uh, so a bunch of videos will be coming out soon. Um, obviously, I'll update you that on that at the end of this video. But right now, I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of buying headers. So, pro one is, of course, horsepower. You gain around 10, 20 horsepower, uh, depending on the car, engine, whatever. Um, it's not too, too noticeable, but my car is definitely uh, a little bit quicker um, off the line. I can definitely feel it um, when I need to get into traffic, whatever, like, need to get beat a car out it's definitely a little bit quicker and it's helpful um and obviously it's fun to fly um pro two of course is the sound it is unreal how good this car sounds now i have not done an exhaust um video or whatever yet because i wanted to get this out first before i do that and that also takes all someone else helping me film which i have not gone um, able to hold a hold of someone else um, But basically my car pops a ton more uh, downshifts pop and sound insane The car is definitely louder which could also be a con because I've definitely gotten some Dirty looks for how loud my car is but then at the same time for car enthusiast guys They say my car sounds unreal. So I'm totally fine with it. I love it. Um, I did have a little problem with the cops I was delivering pizzas and cop pulled me over saying I had a custom exhaust when I was in fifth gear and he couldn't even hear the exhaust I don't know maybe it was just coincidence but it's whatever um so those those are two pros and of course your car is just breathing a little bit better you know like it's help, helping the engine out a little bit more and of course you got the sound and the horsepower so let's get to the cons so for con number one it's of course the price um, I cheaped out and I recommend you cheap out too because high quality headers are literally $1,500 to $2,000 if you want to get rid ridiculous ones like Cooks, like uh, Street Speed 717 got. So I recommend cheaping out. Go on eBay, find your specific, specific year and model for your car. Make sure it's exactly what you get um, for your car. And get one in the between 120 to 200 dollars. So you're not completely cheaping out. You are getting an eBay part, but you're getting a, a higher end eBay part, I guess you could say. But don't get one like 80 or 100 because I bought like a 90 dollar one. So then I said, well, this hook up with a 323i 2000, like uh, you'll have a little bit of issues. It's going to be a tight fit. And so I'm like, oh great. So this is not going to fit. So I um canceled that order and then i got 170 dollar one and then i emailed them and they yeah well, line up perfect and of course in the headers video it lined up perfect it made the job a lot easier and a lot less cutting um so that is definitely a con um for the price and of course though another huge huge downside to installing headers is the price of labor i got lucky because i have a friend um that can do it for me. He's done it twice on his cars. He has two different E46s, as you've seen in the video, if you've seen it. And um, so he was wicked willing to do it for me. So he did it $50 an hour instead of $100 an hour, which is what a shop does. So it came out to be $400, um, which is honestly not bad because they, they can charge $1,000 for labor. So it can be a really, really expensive project for headers. So I am so glad I went the route I did. So con number two is the smell of course it's going to smell you're taking away your cats that's what cleans the exhaust and now you're taking away so of course it's going to send out all the exhaust fumes and gas fumes or whatever and it sounds very rich and very very like bitter and like very strong but you'll get used to it the car is going to get used to it and eventually it will just kind of ease out it just needs to get used to the new system that's directly out of the engine um so of course it's going to smell the beginning my girlfriend doesn't like it it's all right i've gotten used to it um but 
I have not gone a ton of complaints and it's gonna eventually get used to it um, so I'm not too 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 worried um, and of course you're gonna worry about the cops right because your car is now a lot louder almost straight piped um, and so because I'm in Massachusetts any modification to your exhaust is illegal even though the car is already modified for exhaust now it's louder so it's very hard to pull out next of a cop without being relatively loud i am going to make some sort of noise i need to get to at least two three thousand rpms and there is a sound it's loud there's a little gurgle pop whatever so cops can definitely be difficult but in reality if you don't live in a, uh, a state that has a um modifications rules laws whatever then headers are definitely the way to go um it was not too too expensive i got a little horsepower it sounds better i can show off the system it's nice and silver and very good looking in the engine so overall headers were a very very good idea in my opinion i recommend you do it too um just if you want dm me and or comments asking what's a good um company mine was manzo and i guess manzo is really good i i guess for ebay but um just go on ebay try to find something if you can't find one i could look one up for you it's pretty easy um but yeah that's basically the video guys um in the future i want to do on like how to uh clean po properly clean your car because a lot of people don't do that right um my friend knows specifically all the different steps and it'll be fun to do that and then um do a custom exhaust video, maybe go to a drift event, more uh, car meets. It's also close to the end of the summer. I'm going to college soon, but I'm going to try to get a job at a mechanic shop that's close to my, um, my uh, college. So eventually I'll be able to make more YouTube videos um, doing uh, things to this car in that shop, uh, hopefully for cheap too, or I can just do it myself and they can do it with me. Um, and then, of course, if people have cool cars at my college, then that would be cool as well. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I know this is on the longer side for a video, but I just wanted to let you know the pros and cons of getting headers. And then, maybe you can put on your car as well. Um, and if you live in Massachusetts, I can completely tell you the information to my friend um, if he's up for it. And he could try to put them in for you as well. Thank you guys for watching.